YouTube, strap on and get ready for a ride. This is going to be almost every single cover that Stephanie Hans has ever done. If you guys have been watching my videos, you know I'm a huge Stephanie Hans fan, and my 2019 goal is to collect every cover that she's ever done um, and collect by any means possible. So if you're out there and you've got any of the covers that you see in this collection and you want to trade them, you want to sell them, or you are in for an A-OK, -okay, please contact me. I am more than glad to uh, make fair value trades, pay what I can when I can, and I will always accept an act of kindness if anybody has an extra a double or just is feeling in the mood. So right off, uh, alphabetically is how this goes. This 100% Marvel is a reprint of some Thor stories. Uh, she did that cover there. This 1602 um, Witch Hunter Angela Part 1. Uh, you can see that Kieran Gillen is one of the authors up there. She has been working with Kieran Gillen for a while, which it's natural that they're on Die Together now. I have the cover. That's why there's a blue slash through it. Anything you see with a blue slash, I have. As we move on, I'm missing Part 2, which is another great cover. I have Part 3, which is an awesome cover. Um, and I have Part 4. And if you start to look now, you see uh, patterns and themes in her art that come up. And, and some of it is the, the wavy hair and then just the um, kind of misty uh, blended colors that are kind of a little smoky and misty with bright spots at some places. And is one of the uh, staples of her art. I'm trying to identify others. It's hard to put into words because I'm not an artist. Uh, but I'm kind of getting there. So this A Force 10 I have. I think I had two copies at one point. I might have given one away. Uh, A Force, um, this one is separate here. Poor Man's Comics uh, has an extra copy that he's sending me. Thank you very much, Poor Man's Comics. He's even taking it to C2E2 to get it signed by Stephanie Hans, which is just really awesome of him. But again, you can see blended colors, a bright spot, the wavy hair kind of just blowing in the wind. Um, that's just a beautiful cover. I don't have any of her work on Aliens. Um, much different look, but still the same concept. Uh, I wouldn't mind picking these up. I like Brian Wood's writing. It'd be kind of cool. Uh, issues 8 and 9, 10 and 11, 12. And then she did this work on a Fantastic Four variant. You know that I'm not a big fan of uh, variants for that show another um, group or, or superhero on the cover. But I would make an exception for Stephanie. So it's uh, Amazing Spider-Man variant 667. Fantastic Four variant. It's actually kind of cool with the collegiate looking um, you know, corduroy jacket here. I'm surprised there's no elbow patches in the uh, turtleneck jamming on the guitar, sitting in this like old school type of chair. I guess that's Medusa and then Thing listening to a boombox. Kind of cool. Um, and there's this Hastings variant. She does a lot of variants for Hastings, one of the companies that do variants. Uh, you obviously have seen that before, or variations of that. 59th Street Bridge, Spider-Man, and Gwen Stacy falling. She did a run on um, Angel, pretty short. There's issue 7, and issue 8, and issue 12. These both look the same, but one of these is the uh, trade paperback. One of them is the comic. If the artwork is essentially the same, I do not need to get both of them. Um, but this is Angela Asgard's Assassin. Um, and again, you can see it's written by uh, Kieran Gillen. Uh, and I guess Margaret Bennett. It looks like they wrote it together, maybe, unless that's a different Bennett. Um, and the men is to the art, and Hans on the cover. Number two and number three. I have number four. I have number five. I have number six, and then she, of course, uh, on the next series, Angela, Queen of Hell. Uh, I do not have this variant to number one, but I love this, kind of the, the stars or the space here coming through and being part of this tree, but also being part of the universe here. And even though her legs and her back here is dark, it kind of has this form that's different, but then up here you can see the stars are creeping in, and there's that wavy hair again these blended colors and this bright spot in the middle. Uh, you can see very similar things here with number two and number three. And she does just women with swords. She does really well. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Uh, what is this? Three. Is that a different three than the last one? Was that a variant? I go, oh, that's two variants. Sorry. 
and three and four. Scourge. That's a really great scourge. Um, a little bit more goofy here, and I can't stand this guy. I never want to have a comic with him in, but sometimes you just can't help it. Uh, there's five. And now Queen of Hell versus Mighty Thor, number six. And then moving on to Asgardians of the Galaxy, a variant addition to number two. Uh, Assassin's Creed Origins. Origins, excuse me. Uh, looks like issue one. I don't have that at all. This Avengers Assemble. I don't have that variant at all. Um, it's like a Phoenix style variant to A versus X, number zero. She did this on Barbarella, and again, right, wavy hair, blended colors, bright spot, and kind of this space blending into, like, more corporeal forms here. Very similar stuff, and I guess there's a virgin variant of that. I have, like, two or three of these. This Batman 14 is one of my absolute favorite covers. Um, you know, I, I just, that, that Catwoman bat there. That's just amazing. I love that one. Matter of fact, I'm going to sip my tea and look at it for a second. Wasn't as big a fan on this 15, but the more I look at it, the more I like it. Um, there's something odd about it when you look at it from a certain angle. Now, this next one is uh, obviously uh, German, I assume. Uh, German variant. Uh, I'd have to look at the regular number seven to see what the cover looks like. Make sure that this is her on the cover. Sometimes the, I use comicbookdb.com, uh, so I'm not exactly sure. If they're always correct, but we'll see. And then there is a Italian edition of 15 that has her number 14 on. She also did this uh, number five, and I never quite liked this cover. Um, I, I like what's back here. I don't like what's right here. Um, not my favorite anyway. I shouldn't say I don't like it. It's not my favorite. Black Magic is the series I was collecting, but I stopped and just tried to get some trade paperbacks, but I might go and pick that up. Well, I will go pick that up. Uh, Black Widow did a variant addition to number two. That's really cool. Uh, Bombshells, I think these are both um, a trade paperback. I'm not sure. Obviously, it's the same image, but it says number three down here. Number four down here for Bombshells United, so I got to go do some more research there. Same thing with issue two. They took like, it looks like they took her issue two and put on trades. I won't even get those trades. I will just take this uh, this issue if I can find it. And then she did some work on Buffy. That's gorgeous, right? I love that one right there. Um, it almost looks like she's holding a staff till you realize this is some like serious vampire killing weapon. It's pretty cool. I did get um, on Midtown Comics on a sale they had a couple months ago, these uh, Vampire uh, 2 and 3, Vampire Slayer. Those are really nice. I don't have four. This uh, is kind of cool. You put Hydra here, and it's kind of cool to show that she doesn't just do really vicious-looking women with weapons. So it's cool that she does all these other styles, but I'd have to say this isn't my favorite one here. Um I have the Virgin variant of this. I had this one because I, I bought them as a set, but I uh, sold this to the Doom on auction. So I don't think I'm going to require myself to get uh, a trade dress or just a regular if I've got the Virgin variant of, of something that just seems a little excessive, I think. Clockwork Angels, I know nothing about. I think it's Boom Studios. She has a bunch of um, stuff with Boom Studios. That DC Bombshells United was the only... Um, DC work that I found her on. Cosmic Ghost Rider I've got. This one, this Damsel's Mermaids from Dynamite, a free comic book day one. This is quite a few years ago. Uh, it might be tough finding that one. I don't know. Dark Wolverine. I I got to look this up. I think this is at Half Price Books in the, the quarter bin now. I think I've seen that before. I got to double check. Uh, Dead Island from Dark Horse. I don't know that at all. Death of Wolverine, this cover I like a lot, right? Let's look at this for a bit. This is a Mile High Comics store variant. So we've got um, the Angel of Death here, or just an angel, not sure. We've got these dark blended colors in the background, got this bright light. We don't have wavy hair, thank God, on Logan. But uh, I love this, right? He's confronting an angel here upon his death. 
there's blood from somewhere. Either he's attacked the angel, and his blood on the, the wingtips here, or he's just fought something. He's got one claw, one set of claws extended, but the other one not. Balled up in a fist like he's ready to fight, but his head hung low like he's ashamed. There's just it's, It says a lot right here. It's a really cool cover. Um, it's Defender's uh, Hulk variant here. It's pretty cool. Uh, not my favorite, but I will get it. Of course, we all know Die. This is um, number one. Now, at the time of, of uh, that I did this research, they didn't have the second printing variant up, but I have the, the second print, and I they're coming out with a third print for number one, so I got to look that up. This is apparently an exclusive uh, for some company. I, I can't remember off the top of my head, so I do have to get that one. And then I've got die number two. She did issue number four for Joss, Joss Whedon's Dollhouse. Epitaphs, which I guess is another series spun off from Dollhouse. Anybody ever watch that TV show? That was pretty good. My wife and I watched that a number of years ago. Electric Sublime, number two. Don't know anything about that. Exiled. Um, again, Kieran Gillen. It's a one-shot. I don't have that, but I will have to grab a hold of that. I don't have the Faith on the left. I've never seen that. That, again, looks like a store variant, but I do have the Faith on the right, the number one variant there. Um, really like that one, and I'm pretty sure I've got it signed by Jody Hauser, so it'd be pretty cool if I could get uh, a copy of that and get Hans to get my, Hans to sign my copy at some point. Fear Itself Sins Past, number one. This is a one-shot. Um, again, a different look. Obviously, no wavy hair there, but something going on in the background here. Uh, this one here is kind of like a uh, not an omnibus, that's not the word I'm looking for. It's like they put three stories into one, apparently. Um, but it does look like she did the artwork for all three, so I gotta get that. That's gonna be, oh no, this was a cover for webcomic. So I don't know, that's why it says marvel.com, I remember now. So I don't know exactly how I'm gonna get that or if I'm gonna get that. Hard to collect a webcomic when that's not what you collect. So here's a Fearless Defenders. Um, this is a very I don't want to say typical because it sounds like she does the same thing over, but you can see a lot of hallmarks of her artwork here. There's Fearless Defenders. There's a Firestar. Now this is a series that she wrote in France in 2010. This, I, I could maybe it's on eBay super cheap. I have no idea, um, but this might be the hardest one to track down. I'm really going to have to put in some research and uh, some legwork for this one, Galathea. Um, only one and two, I guess, that she did the uh, cover work for, because I think it went a few more issues than that. Echo more Venomized, eh. I do have the Generations. I thought I had them all. I've got the Captain Marvel. I've got the, you know, Miles Morales, Peter Parker. Spiders, as they're called. I've got the Marvels with Miss and uh, the old Miss Marvel, now Captain Marvel. I have the Jean Grey and Phoenix, but I did not know that there was a Stan Lee exclusive PAL Comics variant to the Jean Grey and Phoenix Generations. And I think this is pretty phenomenal with Jean Grey and Phoenix dancing in the background and Stan Lee as the DJ. That is that is pretty wicked. Don't have it though. Never even seen it. And I got the, the Americas. This Ghost in the Shell, one of my LCSs has it. Um, this is a hardcover. It's 30 bucks, but I could probably make him some trades and uh, and talk him down. He's usually pretty good at doing deals. I might be able to get it for, you know, 15 and some comics or something like that. Guardians of the Galaxy 20. Galaxy 20. Okay. I love this Gamora variant, though. Is that a Gamora? That's a Gamora variant, I assume, to number 17. That's just gorgeous. I've never seen his Han Solo one, but look at this. Just standing on the Millennium Falcons, all these ships go by. I love that. I love that one. i got to find that. Um, that's to number four, too. Betty and Veronica, um, number three. Is this a variant? I assume this is a variant. Uh, yes, this is a variant. Infinite Loop I've never heard of. Um, here's an Inhumans, Once in Future Kings, variant number three. Don't love this one too much, either. Um, it kind of tells a neat story with New York City in the background of the glasses, but not a super fan. Neither my super fan of this Iron Fist. This Iron Heart, one of my all-time absolute favorites. I have two copies of that. I don't know why I got two, but I did. 
that would be something I'd be willing to trade, but it would have to be for something big because that was uh, that was not a cheap one. Max Ride um, second printing, so they changed the lettering. I probably won't bother getting both of those because that would be ridiculously silly. Uh, then there's a free comic book day version. Again, it looks like they changed the lettering. But this number two is obviously a different one. And there's three and four. Looks pretty cool. Um, five, and then she did this variant for Jean Grey. And pretty cool. A little dour looking, though. Um, Gem in the holograms. That's pretty cool. I'm going to have to pick that up. Is that That's number five. I got some of the variants for this when it came out, but it was like number one and number two. And you go this far. Um, I like this Jessica Jones one too. It's much, much different. A little bit of the blended like blue and whites here, and that wavy hair and the bright spot. But this is all just black. It's that's uncommon for her, but pretty cool still. Another Jessica Jones, Journey into Mystery, Fear itself. Some of these are trade paperbacks. I started copying and pasting them, and then I found out that the trades just took a, a picture from the comic. So as long as I get all for artwork. I don't need to duplicate it and get it on a trade and a, a comic. So I do have 622, 623. I don't have this uh, vertical or horizontal 23 variant though. It's kind of cool. I don't have that really cool variant to 23 either. But I do have 624 and 625. Then I skipped a few. Uh, there's 626.1. Don't ask me why. I do have 628, which is, again, a cover I really like. And then I do have 632, which I believe is the first appearance of something, the Hellhound. I can't remember the name of the Hellhound, but there's a Hellhound in there, first appearance. And then she did a long run on this with, with Gillen, which might be a really good read because he's a really good writer. Um, New Mutants and this under the Exiled... Uh, Thing. I think that's a trade there. Why is it? Oh, is this, this is a journey into mystery, New Mutants Exiled mashup or something. I'm not too sure about that one either. i got to look, look that up. Claw of the Panther. Very cool. Cull. <laughs> kind of cool. Cat in the Skull. Cull. I guess that's Cull, I don't know, the Conqueror. But under Dark Horse, did they get the rights to him? I don't even know. A Magneto, a very cool Venomized Man thing. I like some of her Venomized covers. That's really, really cool Power Rangers because that's just totally different than anything you've ever seen. There's a Death of Mighty Thor. This is one I might not get because I despise the Marvel recent lenticulars. It just looked horrible. Of course, this is how I found out about Stephanie Hans. I had a few covers before I got this one, but I didn't know. I have the variant, the virgin variant of this, and I think I've got one of the regular ones left. I had like four or five at first, but I, I sold them. Um, that's cool no more. I haven't seen her do much with um, with water before, so that's just kind of different. Um, and Sarah Pacelli's on the interiors on that. That should be pretty cool. Uh, Aquaria, Nautica, Neptunia. There you go. Um, I don't know what this next one is. Uh, New Avengers number 22. And then she did, these are the two exiles she did. And you can see Kid Loki's in there. That's probably the tie-in with Journey into Mystery, uh, 42 and 43. I love this original sin. I was looking at variant to number one today from this. Uh, that looked really cool, but I just don't want to spend the money because it wasn't something I needed or wanted. Peter Parker, this is one of her first works for Marvel. This was down in 2010. Um, don't love it, but watch how the hair goes up here. Watch how the colors kind of blend here. Watch how there's a bright spot with a lot of darkness around it. And you can see a lot of her stylistic uh, telltale signs. This phoenix is too red for me, but I got to get it because it's Stephanie Hans. This raven is very cool. Another one of her few DC works. This red Sonia, black and white, looks really cool. Um, then there's a variant to number nine, which I <laughs> couldn't find a cover for. Don't like this Shadowlands Spider-Man. I do like this Shadowlands Street Heroes with Daredevil and Ghost Rider. That's sick. That's sick, sick, sick. This Star Wars is very, very cool. I didn't like these 40th anniversary covers with like this, the frames on them. But if you just look at the picture inside, 
that is pretty darn cool. Almost looks like there's snow out here, right? With the stars, it gives the, me the feeling that like they're looking out the window, it's snow. Um, she did the variant to number three, and then she started on, on Storm. I don't have that variant. I love this, holding the Wolverine mask. I do have number five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. I love how they got, uh, where is this? There was forgers in one of them. Maybe it's like one or two. Um, I love, I love this number eight. Boom. And the Gambit, of course. Number 10, she's building up. And then look at this one. That's, I should, wish I could move that out of the way for you. All right. Suicide, suicide ride, what is it called? It's um, Suicide Risk. I've never heard of this. It's a Boom Studios. Uh, this is an amazing, this has got to be one of my favorite covers. I don't own it. Amazing covers. This is just amazing. Amazing covers. This looks a little bit like Buffy to me, but still amazing. Um, I guess those were the earlier covers. Either the pictures they got didn't have any writing on or they just didn't have any writing on. But I'm really interested in this series now because I like Mike Carey as a writer a lot. He does um, Crossing Midnight. He does Unwritten. Um, it's a lot of really good stuff. And these are pretty cool too. Not as good as those first four though. And now we're back to kind of like, I like these a little bit better. Actually, I like these two a lot. I love, I love the look on this. The stars, the bright spots, and this, these like greens blending into each other. She also does a lot of reflections and shadows, which is kind of cool. But stylistic ones, not like direct ones. <laughs> this one reminds me of the Weeping Angels a little bit from Doctor Who. And she did this variant to, uh, to Thor number six. Uh, Thunderbolts, don't like that too much, a little too dark there. She did a couple Tomb Raiders. I have this uh, Totally Awesome Hulk variant. I have a lot of the Totally Awesome Hulks. Um, this is the Defenders variant. Again, I'm not a big fan of putting other teams on, but whatever. Uh, can't find the Hans variant to Ultimates 2, number 3 from 2017. I don't like the Civil War variant because I don't like that half of a beautiful piece of artwork is cut off by a green box and this guy's there this whew, wow again i probably could just go with the virgin variant or even even having the words venomized in this one i would take either of these that is really sick this was a c2e2 exclusive from last year or, or a few years ago this this oh, that is hard to find and ebay expensive I actually like the Vote Loki series really, um, really a lot. I was about to say. I must be getting tired through the end of this. I liked it a lot. It's really darn cool. Um, it's the fried pie variant number one. Wicked and Divine. This was the 1831 one shot number one. I'm pretty sure I don't have that one. Nor do I have the variant to number three. But I do have the variant to number 15, which you can see is right there. Um, you know what? I have the variant to number uh, 15. This is not the variant. I don't have this one. I need to ch change my list. I love this X-Men Battle of the Atom. It actually looks better than this. I couldn't find a full-size, um, full-resolution large pick, so I just maximized a, a thumbnail for this one. But just this is an homage to, what, 148, 145? I can't quite remember. But, um, yeah, this is really cool. It's X-Men Blue. It's not called a Venomized variant, but... It sure looks like one. Uh, Extreme X-Men 7.1 looks pretty cool. This Young Avengers, though, looks super awesome. And I think that is it. So that is, uh, gosh, like 200 covers of Stephanie Hans, of which I have like 20. 10% um, is a good start, though. So listen up, guys. Uh, like I said, if you've got something and you want to trade, you, you want to, um, you know, try to make a, a deal and sell them or you want to do an AOK, -okay, I'll, I'll throw um, my my postal address in comments here. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed it because just listen to me talk that wrong. <laughs> long can't be too enjoyable. But I really appreciate you guys being here. Hope you have a good time. Bye.